Hey guys, this is the last lesson of our EV3 series and I'm going to combine everything we have learned in the last few lessons into one program. And in this lesson you're also going to learn about timers in um, EV3 which is used for, well, a timer. It records how much time has gone past. So um, the program that we're going to make um, right now is a reaction time tester and basically it'll go like this um, let's type it all out in a comment box as I'm explaining it to you so basically what's gonna happen is um, so firstly the program uh, press press the button to start the program and then the second thing that's going to happen is a sound file will play at a random time. All right, once the sound plays, you're going to press a button as soon as you hear the sound. After you press the button, it records how much time has gone past since the sound was played. into a text file. So that's basically um, the order that we're going to program things in so it can serve as sort of like a reminder and then um, number five is it'll uh, repeat the process from step one. Okay so press the button to start the program so let's do that so let's go wait until the brick button, um, the middle button is bumped. Okay, when it's bumped, um, a sound file will play at a random time. So let's generate a random number. So let's drag up the random block, which is here. Okay, a random number between, let's say, 1 and, let's just go 3, okay, between 1 and 3 seconds. Between 1 and 3 seconds. And after the random number is generated, after that much time has gone past, so let's do another wait block, okay, after a certain amount of time between one and three seconds has passed we will play a sound file and um, oops that's not the sound block this is the sound block and let's um, choose just any sound file so um, let's just do the dog barking oh I hope that didn't scare you guys um, so yeah, the, the dog barking sound file is going to play. As soon as it plays, we start timing. Okay, so we're going to get the timer block up, which is somewhere around here. I know it. Just wait a second. That's it. This block here, which is under sensors, drag up the timer block. And basically, we're going to reset the timer. Timer number one, reset it, so it's going to start on zero. And we play the sound, so um, the timer uh, starts. So as soon as you press a button, okay, as soon as you press a button, so it's basically the same block again. Might as well just copy that. As soon as you press this button here, um, it will take the measurement from the timer so we're actually gonna measure how much time has gone past since we reset the clock note that each timer has an ID so we need to keep this number the same so ID number one that means we're using the number one timer and we measure the time we measure how much time has gone past in the number of seconds and we um, let's let's just display that on the screen so 
let's display that on the screen display on the screen text grid display it on the screen and we also want to save this into a text file so go into file access and save it as timer okay we save it into a text file so two things are going to happen with the measurement firstly it's going to display on the screen secondly it's going to save in a text file and we repeat the whole thing again okay so put all this inside a loop and let's display some sort of text at the front as well so we can say something like press button press but middle button and this time we're going to change the font size to one okay so let's just download this to our program and see to our robot and see if it works so you can see here that the robot says press middle button so I'm gonna press it soon as the sound plays I press it again and now it's repeating the process so press middle button the sounds gonna play I press the middle bounce button again and yeah so I've done it twice so let's go back to the program so now um, back to the program let's open up the memory browser and see if we can get our reaction time tester program and you can see I have a timer.rtf so let's upload it to our desktop and open it up and you can see here it took me 0 0.153 seconds the first time um, but it took me zero seconds the second time which is pretty damn quick how fast I press the button so I guess we can uh, fix some little things here so the first thing we're gonna fix is when it when we play the sound file we're not gonna wait we're gonna choose the play type to play once whereas before it was on wait for completion so it didn't really start timing until the sound file completed which is why I got zero seconds so let's change the play type to play once and while it's playing it should um, it should uh, start the timer and then um, once the timer is uh, once once it stores the time it displays it on the screen but let's also make it wait a couple of seconds while it's displaying on the screen okay so let's make it wait a couple of seconds while it's displaying on the screen so I can actually see it and then it goes back to the beginning of the program so let's try this one more time and see what happens so you can see it says press middle bounce button so let's press it when the sound plays <laughs> press it again it put, took me 0.66 seconds let's try it again press middle button 0.373 try it again press middle button 0.348 so now it's more accurate okay thanks for watching guys see you next time